What's up, everyone? Welcome to a show that I like to call Reasons to Live. Basically, it's a show dedicated specifically towards all of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts like I once did to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, look up dicillion, infinite reasons why you should choose to live. Now, before we get going, I do have a quick question, if I may. How are you doing today? I would truly love to hear what you have to say. Now, the topic of today's episode is subplots. Now, what does that mean? It's a th I know we all have these general ideas for the direction our life is going, and maybe that is the way your life is going. Maybe it's going one way, and there's like a main aspect to it. This episode is dedicated specifically towards the side plots, the side quests. Are you familiar with video games? Think of the fun little side games you get to play, side quests that throughout the game that may even be a lot more entertaining than the actual gameplay itself, and that can be the same way with your life. For me personally, I love my hobbies, whether it's pro wrestling, history, Mario games, Marvel movies, DC movies, horror movies. I would be nowhere without these side plots. They're what bring the fun into my life, and it could be the same thing for you guys. What are your side plots? What are the things going on in your life that make it enjoyable while aren't connected to the main arc slash story in your life right now that's going on? So consider that before you make a rash, harsh, or negative decision on whether to take your own life or not, consider the fun little side plots you'll be missing if you were gone. Now before I get going, I do have a quick question, if I may. Not question, more of a statement, 1v1 with you if that's alright. Now down in the link in the description below, I put five mental health resources for all of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts. For our friends at, in the LGBT community, I put the Trans Project and the Trevor Lifeline. And for those of you out there who unfortunately had to deal with things such as sexual assault, I put the National Sexual Assault Hotline, and I put the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and the Crisis Text Line. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm well aware that calling in a helpline like this can be one of the most scary, intimidating, demanding, emotionally speaking things out there a person could do. And that can lead a lot of us to not call out or reach out for the help that we need and deserve for ourselves. Don't tell yourselves you don't deserve to get help because you do. So what I did, I put their websites for each and every number on top of it so you can check out things like their FAQ page, see what they're about. And lastly, I put an article by BuzzFeed News that explains in a lot greater detail, a lot greater detail than I could ever explain myself. What happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and text the crisis text line? I won't say much on it. I want you to read it for yourself and make your own judgments. But all I'm going to say is that anonymity you don't think you have is there. What am I talking about? Read the article and find out. Sorry about my doc. I will close it off now. My name is Matthew Ginzali. I hope you get the help you need, my friend. You deserve to get help. You are awesome. And remember, there's always a reason to smile.